New channel, check. Thor, check. Virus that nearly ruins my ability to make a video the first week I have my new channel, check. If you're wondering what that's about, my computer got infected with a virus and it was partially my fault and now I don't have any of my software so I might not be able to get this up. Right now I'm recording this on Saturday. I don't know when I'm actually going to be able to get this up because I don't know when I'm going to have all my software to edit back so I apologize if this is late. Thor. Everyone knows with the summer movie season there's almost always a comic book movie. Like, let's take it the past couple of years. Iron Man 2, X-Men Origins Wolverine, Iron Man, Spider-Man 3, and then you keep going and going. It's always a comic book movie for some reason. This is probably the best movie since Spider-Man 2. I mean, <laughs> this movie is absolutely great. I l completely love the movie. The story of Thor follows Thor, obviously, and he's a god. He's next in line to be in the throne. He's really cocky, and then he does something that he thinks is right, but his father and King Odin does not believe is right, and then they get into an argument, and Odin casts him out to Earth. Then he meets Natalie Portman, and while he's cast out Loki, his brother starts raising hell. Chris Hemsworth is a perfect choice as Thor. He absolutely personifies the character in a great way. I really see a future for him. He's a very good actor. He was good in a perfect getaway for what he was in, and now Thor, he is great. Natalie Portman. Now, Natalie Portman in these fantasy-type movies, I think most people would know, is not the go-to person. Hi. But in this movie, she is very good. And she was better than she was in the Star Wars movies, I'll give her that. Her and Chris Hemsworth have good chemistry. Not the best chemistry, but it's very, very good. I really saw a connection between them. Tom Hiddleston as Loki was also phenomenal. He was really, really into the character, you could tell. He, I'm sure he really got into the character before, and if he didn't, that's really surprising, because he was just like... It's not the actor, it's the actual character that you see on screen. I mean, he was really, really good. For some reason, I found all these characters really down to earth. Like, this type of movie, they're like all gods. You'd think they would just be like, uh, like douchebags, I guess. They're actually pretty relatable. I found it really, it w wasn't that hard to relate to them as I thought it would be. The action in this movie is really good. There's one scene near around the beginning of the movie where Thor goes to fight these frost giants. Oh my god, he was kicking ass all over with his hammer. Oh. That's one of my favorite scenes of the movie. The special effects of this movie are great too. I mean, the frost giants, they're not CGI to my surprise. They were actually people with makeup on. That looked great. All the scenery, like the Frost Giants planet where Thor is from everything. It's just great. And back to what I was saying before, Thor's character was actually... You really did feel bad for him when he was really down in the dumps, like in the mud, all just broken. He had nothing left. It was really good acting there by Chris Hemsworth. I got past the comedy, because in the trailer... Some of the comedy scenes, they, they looked really bad, but Chris Hemsworth sort of saves that Facebook one. You know, like Facebook smile, and it was all right. It didn't really hinder the movie. So Thor, overall, is a great way to start off the summer. I hope all the movies are like this, even though they're not, because I'm going to see Priest next week, and we all know how that's going to turn out. Thor, I think it's better than Iron Man. This is the best Avengers movie to come out so far. And I, I'm not sure about Captain America. I, I like what I'm seeing with it, but like I've told everyone, I don't really buy a guy running around in red, white, and blue during World War II. It just seems a little bit off-putting to me. Other than that, it looks really good. Thor. See you next week for Shitbox. I mean, Priest.